Hey Ma! Hi, welcome back to Hey Ma. How many people have been struggling with mental health? It's completely normal this time of year as the days become shorter and you get that sad effect. So what I have been doing is a lot of art therapy. And um, if you look at the history of Hey Ma, you can see that the amount of crafting really seems to slow down this time of year. It's not that I'm not crafting because it's the holiday season. I am doing a lot. But getting it all together to post a video and edit a video is very hard. So what I've been doing this year is spending a lot of time on meditation and mental health. And that is why you'll see more kind of um, art therapy videos uh, spread out in the Hey Ma collection. So this is um, my take at trying to do some mandala uh, dotted uh, dot painting or uh, painted rocks. As you can see, I started with a chalk marker, which was very juicy, and that's distracting, yes, but uh, try to ignore that. I will um, eventually cover it all with uh, paint, and I think forget to actually uh, wipe it off. <sighs> At the end, when it's, uh, when the paint is dry, but, you know, the thought is there, and, and thankfully, because of the busy pattern and um, lack of uh, precision, I think it does get covered up pretty well. I'm kind of proud of this rock because I did it while I was... Um, I actually did it, uh, and I don't know if other crafters know this, okay. So sometimes you're doing your craft uh, for the video, and it kind of sucks all the joy out of it. Uh, a lot of times, you know, the, you know, you have to position the camera and you have to maybe give direction and it, it makes it not as fun as just doing the craft. So that's why you'll see like a gap in um, my crafting if, my, uh, if I'm working on my mental health because, you know, it's just a lot and it, it becomes a, a job or a chore instead of like joy. So I actually just wanted to do a rock in these colors. Uh, this was, I did a couple weeks ago, so it was kind of early fall and I just wanted to relax. And I'm very proud of myself because I did take a moment to just turn on the camera. I didn't worry too much about like how it looks and you know what I need to show or anything like that I just put the camera on and decided that however it turned out I try to chronicle it so um, I am very proud of how this rock did come out in the end uh, and I just wanted to take this moment because a lot of people do uh, deal with sad uh, which is you know seasonal um, what is it and so that you don't think I'm some kind of Weisenheimer, I'm just going to read this straight from the Mayo Clinic definition. SAD, or Seasonal Affective Disorder, is a type of depression that is related to changes in seasons. SAD begins and ends at about the same times every year. If you're like most people with SAD, your symptoms start in the fall and continue into the winter months, sapping your energy and making you feel moody. So I... I um, will not say that I am necessarily sad this time of year, uh, sad as in um, depressed or moody. I will say that this time of year the days are shorter and so you have less time. So I feel more anxiety. There are more things to get done and um, especially if you're a crafter, I start feeling the weight of um, uh, unfortunate promised but unrealized tasks, um, whether those are DIY projects around the house or the cleaning tasks or paring down, uh, getting rid of uh, things in preparation for 
things that will undoubtedly come into your house over the holidays, whatever it is. Um, I kind of put it all together. I actually love the fall. I'm a fall baby and I love the winter months and I love the darkness. <laughs> but uh, this time of year, as great as it is, you know, it is very stressful for a lot of people. A lot of people deal with loss. Um, the holidays are when they, um, where is more mostly where the holidays are when it is most glaring if you have a loss in your family and after the pandemic i'm i'm sure there are uh, a higher percentage of people who have to deal with that um knock on wood it you know i i don't have to deal, deal with that within my direct family but you know it is sad and i do think about that as well so what I'm going to do is maybe be quiet for the rest of the video and you can watch me just finish it up. I did finish it with uh, polyurethane. Uh, we do have a painted rock garden at our local library and uh, eventually I, I am making a bunch of these and eventually like when I return the books that are sitting in my car, yes I still go to the library, I will um, I will drop off a bunch of rocks as well. So enjoy. I hope you all are feeling well and I, you enjoy your family this week and you're very thankful. And um, until the next video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share and all those things that we have to say for YouTube. But most of all, make sure you take care of yourself. Okay, bye.